How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion. I'm your host Jesse Morgan and it's been almost fucking a week since my last video. I apologize about that and it was just a trailer for the channel. Uh, I kind of spiced up the channel a bit for you uh, laptop and computer users. The trailer's now on there uh, to kind of give a rundown of what I do. Uh, there's also a bunch of different uh, like levels you can go through to see different playlists and different uh, certain subjects that focus on, you know, uh, like metal or nerd stuff or horror stuff. And uh, I've also got some featured guest channels on the side there, so I just kind of put a bunch of different people that I, I like to watch on the regular who uh, normally get themselves viewed by myself uh, every day, every morning, basically. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in what I watch a lot, check out the featured uh, channels lists and whatnot. Uh, so today we're just going to be talking about some nerdy shit, hence the uh, gotta catch them all, hash catch them hat, and my uh, Marvel shirt that I'm wearing right here. So if you're not into nerdy shit, you could probably just skip this video, otherwise stick around. Uh, so what's been happening in uh, the nerd world lately? Uh, a few trailers have dropped, and some movies have come out and whatnot. Um, looks like the Venom movie is actually happening, uh, since they just dropped the trailer. Uh, not a very good one, in my opinion. Uh, there's no real showcasing of Venom, except for the, like, the little symbiote and that little glass vial. Uh, other than that, it's just Tom Hardy looking freaked out and running around, stuff blowing up around them and behind them and shit so yeah kind of a boring non-specific to Venom trailer for Venom so cool uh, I mean it is just a teaser and I know John Campy is like you know giving them a round of applause for not showing the Venom symbiote in a Venom movie trailer but I don't know I think it's basically a wasted TV spot or, or uh, you know, trailer space, but hey, that's me. I'm going to be probably sh sticking around and waiting to see what happens with Venom. Uh, obviously, you're going to be watching the next trailers that come out, seeing if they look interesting at all. Uh, I don't know. I, I was still, before this trailer came out, on the mindset of... Venom not actually happening, or maybe even just kind of it being like a uh, uh, an inside joke, and Sony pretending that this movie's happening when reality they're selling the rights to Marvel. But I guess they actually are doing a Venom movie. So hey, here we go. Buckle uh, buckle your asses up for this one. Uh, should be an interesting ride. Uh, I don't know. I don't see it being that great. Uh, I'll have to wait till the next trailer. But uh, what else has dropped? Oh yeah, Deadpool 2 has dropped a you know a few things, a teaser trailer and like a bigger second trailer. Um, honestly, this looks like it's going to be way better than the first one. Not saying that the first one wasn't good or awesome because it definitely was. I loved the first Dead Deadpool movie. Um, Ryan Reynolds is perfectly cast, uh, a lot of really, really funny shit goes on in that movie, but this one looks like it's going to be, like, to the next level, Cable looks awesome, there's some really, really funny shit, uh, in, in the trailer, uh, I like the, the, the Toy Story reference, I just punched my fucking drum set here, uh, then there's the little quips, like, your time's up, you dumb fuck. Like, that was great. And then Deadpool turn into the camera and be like, well, that's just lazy writing. So it looks like we're going to have a lot of quips, a lot of back and forth between him and Cable, probably. Um, definitely looking forward to see how they kind of take Deadpool 2 and kind of start edging it towards the, the, uh, the X-Force or whatever team. Uh, that they're eventually going to do, because I know there's a clip in the Deadpool 2 trailer where they've, he's got Deadpool in the center, and there's like a bunch of people side, beside him, 
uh, one being Domino, on the other side being potentially either uh, Bishop or some guy named uh, GW Bridge, uh, and then potentially Shatterstar in between them, and then the one guy in between Domino and Deadpool, I don't know who could possibly that would be, but um, we'll probably find out uh, very soon in the next trailer maybe what's all going on with the storyline. Uh, there seems to be some sort of uh, mutant control agency that's trying to stop them and whatnot. Uh, obviously, it'll be interesting to see if there's any time travel in the actual movie or if it's just dead or Cable showing up in Deadpool's universe and uh, going from there. But uh, definitely looking forward to the new Deadpool movie, uh, potentially even more than Infinity War. Infinity War. Yeah, sure, it's the culmination of everything that Marvel's been leading up to, but I don't know, man. With that many characters and that many scenarios going on in one movie, we are going to see an ass load of jump cuts. It's going to be like, jump cut, four or five characters interacting here, jump cut, swoosh, over to this place. Now these six people are doing certain things. Swoosh, up into space, you know, Star-Lord and his Guardians of the Galaxy are doing this. Swoosh, back to Earth. Black Panther and his Wakandan people are getting ready for a battle. Swoosh over here. There's just going to be so much back and forth and jump cuts. I'm probably going to get nauseous from motion sickness. So, yeah, I don't know. Thanos, the big green booger with armor. I don't know. He's probably going to be pretty badass, I'm sure. Because, honestly, if they're making him out to be the, the biggest big bad of all the big bads, they better be doing something with them that's special and new, or otherwise it's just going to be like another Eagle of the Living Planet. Yeah, big scary bad guy beaten within like two minutes of the movie, so I don't know. And then Avengers 5, I think, is done being filmed and, and wrapped. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section. So they've got like that one done and in the can too. Um... Aquaman is finished shooting. Cannot wait to see that in December. Uh, Jason Momoa kills it as Aquaman. He's my boy. I uh, cannot wait to see it. Black Manta is going to kick ass. I thought it was funny how they were talking about uh, in order to get the helmet effect, he's like talking into a trash can. That's pretty amusing. How grindcore of him. Uh, but yeah, should be pretty sweet. Uh, can't wait to see how Aquaman deals with... Uh, fighting or meeting Black Manta. Should be neat to see how he pairs off against Ocean Master and what that storyline is. Maybe William Defoe will get to make another appearance appearance in this film that was like just gouged out of the Justice League film, which I still thought was a great movie by the way. I still love uh, Justice League, still love all the character interactions. I don't give a fuck about Henry Cavill's mustache. He still played a great Superman. What the character did in that movie was kind of cool and the ending it was just nice to see how uh light and a proper superman you know he was at the end of it very bubbly and that joke that he had with cyborg he's like oh no i want to die i lied which is kind of funny considering he was just resurrected it's a little bit one of those like jokes that are too early but since it's about the character who's saying the joke then I guess it doesn't matter, but yeah. Uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to Shazam. That should be amazing. The original Captain Marvel. Uh, but yeah, Billy Batson, Dave Pena, calling him Bateson. My goodness, learn how to read, bro. <laughs> Love your channel. The Film Junkie's awesome, but my god, it's Batson. Dude. Um, that should be sweet. I know someone was complaining that Billy... Uh, is 14 in this instead of like, I don't know what, 8 or 9 years old? Who cares? The dude's still like a fucking prepubescent kid. Uh, well, maybe not a 14, but he's still a kid who gets the uh, superpowers of an adult, muscle-bound, supernaturally enhanced superhero. So he's still going to be slightly immature. He's still going to have that kind of fun, uh, odd way of looking at things through the scope and lens of a, like, a fresh... Lee turned teenager basically so that'll be really really funny uh definitely looking forward to shazam 
Uh, can't wait to see the costume reveals. Can't wait to see any teasers and trailers that pop up soon-ish, maybe. Um, Wonder Woman is going to be amazing, obviously, because, like, the fucking film made above and beyond what they thought it was going to make. Gal Gadot is great as Wonder Woman, and they got Patty, Patty Jenkins back for Woman, uh, Wonder Woman 2, so there's no reason to not think it's going to be awesome. Um, there's another couple of trailers that dropped in the nerd world uh, recently, too, that being um, Solo. I, uh, I didn't really have the big nerd boner for Solo when they announced that it was happening, but after seeing the trailer, I'm like, yep, I'm probably going to go see this. And I'm also not really big into Star Wars. Um, it's enjoyable. I have seen, you know, the newer ones, Rogue One and The Force Awakens. Haven't seen The Last Jedi yet, but it's on my list of things to eventually see. Uh, but, uh, yeah, after seeing the, the trailer for Solo... Looks good to me. Uh, Lando looks good. Uh, the guy playing, you know, Han Solo, you know, does a decent enough job within the couple of seconds you hear him talking and see him in the trailer. He's uh, obviously not doing a Harrison Ford impersonation because why would you want him to be? He's a new actor. He's going to put his own spin and flavor on that shit. If you wanted a young Harrison Ford, go watch the, you know, original Star Wars trilogy, so I think it's gonna be good. Should be decent. And uh, speaking of Superman, uh, Henry Cavill's uh, Mission Impossible movie looks like it should be decent. I haven't really been keeping up with them. I think the last one I saw was with my dad as a kid, and that was Mission Impossible Two, maybe. I don't even fucking know. Uh, but I, I'm pretty interested in seeing what the new Mission Impossible looks like. So. Hopefully Henry, Conv Henry Cavill's, uh, you know, position in that film and character is, was worth the fucking mustache uh, issue that was given to WB and, and Justice League. I still don't understand why they didn't just give Superman a beard, though. I mean, hmm, we have the options of A, giving Superman a beard and a black suit, like the comics, or... We could, you know, digitally remove a mustache from an upper lip. The obvious choice would to just tell fucking Henry Cavill to grow a full beard. What the fuck happened there? Like, I don't understand why they chose not to just give him a beard like the comics, like the animated uh, Death of Superman film. Even there is a scene in one of the Justice League uh, animated series where he gets like boomed tubed or transported to another planet and he ends up growing a beard in that and cuts a fucking red wolf open and uses his fur as a cape and uh yeah so it's not like we haven't seen superman in a beard before idiots but hey whatever uh still looking forward to the justice league blu-ray hopefully there's some extra scenes in there hopefully that makes up for some of the shit that they just completely gouged out of uh you know Zack Snyder's cut and that's another thing too all these people shitting on Zack Snyder can fuck off holy shit like you, you go take a, a dive into the film junkies uh, uh comment section and holy shit there is some cancerous bullshit in the comment section there about Zack Snyder like one he's a great director he's made some awesome movies Man of Steel the 300 fucking Batman vs. Superman was good in my opinion, too, so g give the guy a break. And his fucking daughters died within the last, you know, year or two. Give the man a break. Holy Jesus, you people are are awful. <laughs> like, w way to, you know, not just kick someone when they're down, but stab them with a fiery hot poker. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Where is your humanity? Um, but yeah, so there's been quite a lot of things going on in the community recently. A lot of trailers dropping, a lot of new movies coming up. Uh, Black Panther dropped, like, I think a week ago, or is coming in a few days. I know there's been people who've went out and seen it, like, uh, people who review movies and stuff have already seen it, the critics have seen it. Uh, there's been some showings and whatever already, and it's getting, like, really, really positive reviews. 
And then there's that group of idiots who fucking made a page to bring down Black Panther scores on Rotten Tomatoes. Grow the fuck up is all I have to say about that. Who cares? Like, why do you care so much what Black Panther does at the box office? It's a movie that needs to do well. It has, like, a pretty good message behind it. It's, like, the the time and era for Black Panther to come out is, is kind of now and needed. Uh, I'm not going to go into why, because I've already been like, accused of being an SJW and PC and all that other dumb bullshit. But, uh... There's an obvious reason why Black Panther needs to come out in this day and age, and uh, there's no reason why these idiots need to go over to Rotten Tomatoes and, and thumb it down and give it a negative rating because of their political stance or their racist stance or whatever their stance is. Just, if you don't like a movie, move on. You haven't seen it yet because it hasn't come out yet, I don't think. I think there's a few days yet before it comes out in theaters. So... Fuck off. Stop spamming negativity. It's ridiculous. And uh, stop making you know DC fans look bad by claiming that you're DC fans and that's why you want to shut it down. Because I'm Newsflash. Uh, I'm pro DC all the way. Uh, I have like an entire shelf dedicated to DC Comics. Uh, however, I do also enjoy Marvel comics, but I'm a more uh, more of a DC film guy, and I still support this Black Panther thing. I hope it does well. I hope that Marvel continues to keep doing well because if it does well, that means that other comic book films are going to be able to do better because one person sees a good movie and it's a comic book related film in theaters, they be like, "Well, that was a fun time. I enjoyed myself there." So hey. Look at this. Aquaman's coming out in December. I'm going to go and go watch that one now because I like the last, you know, comic book movie. You know, maybe not, like, the super nerds like us might not feel that way because we know the difference between Marvel and Sony and DC and Fox and all that other shit. But, like, the average movie-going person who isn't a giant nerd like us are just going to be like, Hey, the last superhero movie I saw was great, so maybe this one will be great. So hopefully... Aquaman can ride the wave of Infinity Wars and Deadpool and Black Panther and all those other things coming out. Captain Marvel, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp looks like it's going to be great too. It looks like there's going to be some pretty funny stuff. Paul Rudd definitely has won me over as Ant-Man. Uh, can't wait to see the ghost character, the villain from uh, the new Ant-Man and the Wasp film. Anywho, uh, thanks for watching. This has been a long kind of ranty nerd corner uh this time but uh, uh after this i'm also going to be doing a metal origins video that i've kind of done in the past but i also got tagged in a new one by gnarly charlie so i want to kind of maybe revamp it and talk about it for the people who haven't seen that video because it was a while back um also i recently rele recently released uh my full length lonely cadaver uh album called punk dead and drunk so if you're interested in me uh, releasing the full album as a full-length stream on my channel, let me know in the comments section. Uh, but until then, uh, you can always check it out on Bandcamp. Uh, so that's like thelonelycadaver.bandcamp.com. I'm going to obviously leave descriptions, uh, links in the description and stuff like that if you want to go check it out in the meantime. But let me know if you actually want me to put it up on my channel so you guys can listen to it in its entirety here and decide whether it's worthy of purchasing a digital copy and all the digital copy purchases will go towards a physical copy on cd in the future so really really appreciate that and if you do want to support the channel remember i got some super slam bro shirts i got some drakir tapes and cds left and i also have rectal depravity cds for 15 us dollars shipped within north america really really appreciate your viewing really appreciate your subbing for glory for the rebellion Slammer out.